Thank you. That was Jade. We are at the Melford Gallery tonight having um, a live music performance in the midst of a fantastic exhibition by Richard Hayes. This is Richard. Um, welcome, Richard. Uh, we're going to have a quick chat with Richard about his work here tonight and then again listen to the beautiful music of Jade and also of Dominique. Um, we're going to start off with these paintings by Richard. There's a series called Folded Light and we're just going to briefly talk to you about his inspiration. Well, um, how can I start? The, for me, um, colour is feeling. Um, uh, these were uh, a, one series of work that came about because of a um, uh, particular chapter of my life which came to a close and I've been working on some very heavy oil uh, paintings so these were very sort of saturated fluid colours and working with large squeegees um, so bringing the colour in a very mobile and fluid way saturating the canvas um, and creating very kind of complex um, colour depths so for me, a painting like this is a sort of a colour conversation. And each one started to develop a certain mood. And there were maybe sort of 10 or 12 in the series. So there was this sort of, you know, one kind of mood would lead to another um, in quite a free sort of flowing way. And they are beautiful. They're very free flowing. They're very gentle to look at. They're soft. And mm. um, well, with that in mind, what we're going to do now is, is enjoy the paintings while we listen again to Jade on the cello and we'll be back to you in a few minutes when the next piece of music is finished have a quick chat with Richard again but this is his series Folded Light
Beautiful. Personally love enjoying Rich's work while listening to that kind of music. They have such a soft quality about them, the Folded Light series. And we're going to move on with Richard to looking at his other series of paintings, which we have exhibited here. I'm not sure which one you'd like to start at, Richard. Let's start with the first in the series, which was... Um, which is the one right by the front door the as stolen, you stolen come time. in. Now, this series is called Stolen Time. Yeah. So um, what inspired you to do this series of painting, Richard? Well, it started um, in the lockdown sort of period, really. So I had a, um, a lot of paintings on the go in my studio, but... Um, when the lockdown came around, the first lockdown, I had to stop everything, so I stopped all my teaching. Yeah. I cleared the studio, and then the work that I had, many pieces that I had on the go at that point, seemed almost trivial and foolish compared to, you know, these kind of the, the terrible things we were hearing. Going with COVID all over yeah. the place, so yeah. this was a, a joyful piece. It was teals and yellows and, and rich sort of reds and, and deep cobalt blues. And then I just started to work. I'm working with large sheets, perspex, and printmaking squeegees. So I started just by sort of um, layering colour and then mm. scraping away the colour and then layering more colour. Uh, working in acrylics and working quite with a certain speed because of the, 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 the paint's drying. And that creates this kind of very uh, torn and ripped surface. But then I started using sort of transparent magentas and glazing on top of that to create these rich sort of reds. So it's kind of a raffle painting. So it was, and originally it was a bright, colourful painting which was yes. adapted and changed through COVID. Actually, I just spotted a piece little, of yellow little, underneath, the, yeah. Yeah. underneath the painting there. So um, what we're going to do with this series is we're going to listen to the music of both Jade and Dominique whilst enjoying this series of painting. Maybe, is there another painting, Richard, you'd like to have a quick chat to us about before yeah. we explore yeah. them all? Maybe this large one here. Now, this is a very large piece. Is that what the dimensions of this? It's, it's just about fitted in our space here. <laughs> I'm going to step back so you can see the perspective. Yeah, so this was number 54 in the series. Um, and there was that experience, really, of um, where I was living, of, of life stopping. I live about 25 minutes from Gatwick. So yeah. there's no planes flying. You just had this beautiful sort of spring um, arising around us. And I was kind of moved into this very, very productive sort of place. And that was the largest painting I'd made at that point for, for several years. Um, and I felt like I'd been waiting to make that painting since about 2013, when yeah. I first started to explore this approach to colour using saturated colour and squeegees and those type of things. And this painting came in a kind of joyous rush. It basically made itself, which was a fabulous <laughs> experience for me. I was like, you know, it was, I was in this kind of ecstatic state, looking into the depths, this sort of deep red depths, with the scintillating yellows and cobalt turquoise. And this sort of cobalt turquoise veil seems to almost disappear when you get into the depths of the painting. So I love that reversal of the colour perspective, where the blue becomes a kind of luster and almost disappears when you notice the reds and the oranges and the violets beneath. So I, 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 I love looking at this painting, as do all visitors here. So what we we'll do now is we'll listen to uh, Dominique Levac, a singer-songwriter and pianist, multi-talented, along with Jay Woodhouse on the cello, who are going to play to us while I do a little tour of the exhibition. Um, and we may come back and have a quick chat with Richard at the end. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That was beautiful music to accompany the tour of Richard Hayes' work at Melfa Gallery by Jade and Dominique. Uh, have you any more to play, or is that are you going to stop there for the time being? We might stop there. For the That's time absolutely being. fine. That's okay. We have um, some fantastic live performances here at Melfa Gallery with very limited numbers. Uh, we've got our first one at five thirty tonight. And people dotted around the room. Um, very COVID friendly. We've got one group of four and everyone else in singles and pairs, all far apart from each other. For those of you who are unable to make it, because as you can see, we have very limited numbers, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this little snippet um, of the work. I'll have a quick tour around um, of the work and maybe Richard would like to join me for a, a final goodbye um, of and a chat about any more of his work, which we haven't talked about. What you'll also notice as well as Richard's paintings is a few sculptures dotted around. This beautiful one here made of alabaster by Rosie Jones, which I absolutely love interacting with this piece of Richard's from his Folded Light series. We just about got round to this a monster of a piece in the corner. Um, very festive, which I've managed to, to, to cite next to the, the Christmas tree rather sparse Christmas tree at the moment, but um, Richard, would you like to say anything about this this piece or the other pieces in this room which we haven't yet talked about? Um, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I think you can see, if you just look at the, you know, this corner, this sort of, um, the mood, if you like, the joyous mood of this sort of orange and fallow greens and blues and light reds, and this much more, uh, in a way, romantic, sombre, uh, sort of in terms of the romantic sublime, dark and light, and, and this sort of, um, yeah, the movement across the piece, which has this sort of, yeah, light depths, so you can move into it. But this piece is much more, in a way, like, a, like an explosion, um, almost like the spring. <laughs> there was that sort of, you know, the inner world, which was full of doubt, and, oh, why is all this time being taken from us because of the... The COVID, but then there was this time to experience the beautiful kind of, you know, the, 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 the oak trees bursting into leaf and things like that. So there's this incredible kind of... It was lovely emotion. coming to Richard's studio, actually, because he had been incredibly productive through the lockdown and it hit a lot of us in different ways. And Richard sort of was drawn right into his artwork and, and produced a huge body of, of really impressive work, some of which obviously very inspired by COVID itself. Yeah. But um, the work here is at Melford Gallery is now open for um, appointments only. People can come and visit. Uh, people can drop by if you give me a ring at Melford Gallery or contact me via the Instagram. You can come and view Richard's fantastic work. We have some live performances this weekend of music. We've got some tomorrow on Sunday, which we have still got spaces for actually, uh, with Jade and Dominique on the cello and piano, who are still here, <laughs> waiting for our first performance. Um, Again, get very COVID safe for those of you who are worried. We've got a, a covered space outside um, with some hot mulled gin, courtesy of um, Fine Wines of Mayfield, um, for those of you who would like to join us. Um, and we, um, we really hope to see some of you at the exhibition. Um, thank you for, for joining us.